Hey you guys, and welcome to another unhaul video. Because I'm gonna guess before this, you guys saw my video explaining where I was for a couple of months, and I put up the other uh, unhaul video that I did before. But here we are on, I'm just checking, September 13th. Get these dates in, and I'm going to go back to Baton Rouge because my sister is flying out from there, and I'll probably end up staying that whole weekend, and so. I'm going to go back to secondhand in Charles again. Sorry, I've also been playing a lot of quiz shows lately, so I want to see if that was one of the free ones. If you guys want to add me on Joyride or on Cash Show or on HQ, I'll leave links down below so you guys can sign up through my link and we can play together. Let me know. Um, but anyway, back to this mess. So for my second on haul, I'm also moving. <laughs> I probably mentioned that in a where I've been video. So that means I've been kind of like just throwing all the books. Well, there are a lot of books that I was planning to give away already, and a lot of them were already on my giveaway shelf. And then some were given to me by a friend, and you won't see these because I was like, I didn't even haul them. I don't feel like taking them out the car. I got them a few weeks ago, and they've just been in there, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not up with that and especially since I'm not gonna keep any of them except for maybe one I just need to check to see if I already have it on my shelf or not and then decide so there is that so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys some of the books that I'm unhauling a lot of them I think I said before are romance novels so I'm not gonna show you every single romance novel because like this box right here doesn't even contain like I have like bigger boxes full of romance novels so hopefully the store will take them because <laughs> they didn't have a big romance section and I couldn't tell if that was because people buy them a lot or they're very selective about what they do take so apparently I just went through some of my shelf right there and then my giveaway shelf in front of me I decided to let go of all of these like J.D. Robb novels that I have aka more Roberts look at this okay I was gonna collect them I had I have so many I don't have that many compared to because I think there's like what 20 40 novels in this series <laughs> and I just started random collecting it when I was at like library sales and stuff and I was gonna collect the whole thing and then read the whole thing and then I started it. like like no like I'm not that that into it like I like it but like 40 novels worth oh no thank you no no thank you <laughs> um i think i might try to a try to borrow them for the library and hope they have it on overdrive otherwise it's just gonna go by and then just had some more nor roberts novels now i did keep some nor roberts novels but not all of them this one is moon shadows and it's like an anthology we have three fates which i don't even know it's about remember when another bind up of like three novels some more like come on keisha I went through like a whole Nora Roberts, J.D. Rob thing. Um, actually, <laughs> this reminds me of that time I just started getting, getting rid of all my Stephen King books. <laughs> but I did keep way more of my Nora Roberts, J.D. Nora Roberts novels than I did of my Stephen King. Sorry for the door my sister passed through my room. But oh, more Nora Roberts. I think this one was given to me by someone. And then some more. I can't re even remember if I read this one or not. I think I did, but... You know, I don't remember it. You know how romance novels are. And then, um, another romance novel. This is Comanche Magic, which wasn't mine. I think it was my sister's. And then I just, I just never read it. And she doesn't want it. Okay, and then this is A Man of His Own by Susan Wilson. I got this for Christmas for my aunt. And I was just like, I ain't, like, never in my life have I expressed interest in books with, with dogs. I mean, like, once in a while, yeah, yeah, but not really, and I'm really, really picky about it. She read it, and she loved it, and she's like, oh, it's awesome. I'm like, mm -mm. Yeah, so I'm just going to give that away. <laughs> and then this, too, I was still kind of debating on. It's Stormbreaker and Point Blank by, excuse me, by Anthony Zorowitz, and I had saw the movie, and so I had picked up these two books to read it to see what it's about like the Alex Schreider movie um, I believe the first one was Stormfront so I'm not sure I don't think I'm ever gonna read them and if I do I think I might just borrow them from the library overdrive I believe they have them on there because I don't think it's something like I'll reread or anything I'm not sure and then I have Fixing Delia by 
Sarah Offler, which is something else I had, like, was tipsying about, but I was like, come on, Keisha, just get rid of them. And then these are all some books. This is a box full. I didn't put it, I just threw them in here when I was going through my giveaway shelf. And we have The Dark is Rising by Susan Cooper because I have the whole series in paperback in a box set if you guys don't know so i'm giving away my copies another nora roberts book that i found on my shelf apparently i only read the first book or two in here i don't even remember if i read the back i might try to convince myself to keep it so i'm not then i have dicey's song by cynthia boy this is a double copy i actually have most of the series in my living room but I have been thinking lately, I haven't reread it like I thought, because I used to, I remember loving this book when I was growing up and I had read it a few times and then they had more books in the series and I had read some of the ones that my library had, but I can't remember, like, so I always wanted to read them from the beginning to end and see how it goes. So I may reread them and I may not. Now this one is an oldie but good one. Now most of you guys will look at this book and think, Jack, Keisha. Um, you have Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. I have that book. My book isn't that big. But this was from my very first book outlet order. And I remember looking at it and opening it and then just seeing this, The Son of Neptune by Rikwe. <laughs> and I actually already have a copy of this and obviously I didn't order this. I ordered Glow. <laughs> so I'm just going to give this up. I'm not even sure if I should keep this with the cup, the, the thing on it or not. I don't, I don't know if they can use that. Maybe they have a copy of Glow without a cover. I don't know. <laughs> But I still think it's always hilarious when I think about that. I almost want to keep it for the memories because I'm like, really, Keisha, you're just gonna, you're moving into a smaller space. So think about that. <laughs> and then we have The Midnighters. There's number one, number book two in here somewhere. But I'm getting rid of this book one and book two because I had upgraded to hardcover for all three books. And there's, it's a trilogy, so there we go. And In the Forest of the Night by Amelia Atwater Rhodes. I did really enjoy this from what I remember, but I believe this is a second copy of hers that I have. So even though I think this one was my first copy, it's a little bit more worn than the other copy, I believe. So that's why I had it on my giveaway show. So just got to let it go, even though part of me is like, you should keep it. But no. And then A Conscience concise guide for writers i think i cracked it open once or twice another random agatha christie book on my shelf um i had given away a lot of mine and then when i was going through my books just now i realized i had kept more than a few of them and i was like uh only that was only that one am i giving away because it was already on my giveaway shelf but the other ones i think i'm just going to keep for a while until like i redo like re buy them all so yeah. And then I have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. And then I got some random The Doctor book of home remedies for children that I thought I was going to read or give to somebody. Maybe I should give this to I'll ask one of my friends if they want it before I give it away. I'll take a picture <laughs> to them. And then I have The Great King, which is another Darkest Rising book. And then I have another book series that I updated. So this is The Dark, which is book two in the Guardian of Time trilogy. And this is book one, I believe, the name. And I updated dated the first two books to hardcover to match with the third so there's that we have touching darkness second book and the midnighters trilogy we have the prince of tides by pat conroy surprisingly i'm not even sure if i read this maybe i just saw the movie i don't, I don't even remember all i know is I'm, I'm not about to read this again i think i've only read one there's only one pat conroy novel that i really remember and that is the south of broad and i love that one so if I need to read that, I'll just get this one from the library and then probably get a hardcover copy if I ever really want it. And then it, this is E.T., the extraterrestrial. And it's funny because Geraldine is always telling me I need to get rid of books. But I was on Instagram and I was kind of showing like the books that I was giving away. And she was like, you need to keep this one. I was like, yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's a double copy. <laughs> and I like my other copy more. I can't remember where I put it earlier, but it has like a silver kind of reflective cover for that one so we'll see i never read it though yet and then we have you see andrew's black cat i remember buying this in the grocery store once when i was younger because i i have a lot of vc andrew books right here but this one is the second one i don't have the first one and i don't think i'm gonna reread really this one um anytime soon uh so there is that i think i'm gonna just stick with the vc natural 
and just books I already have and then read them from the library and see if I want to buy physical copies of them or not. And then we have Netforce, one, of, one is The Loneliest Number by Tom Clancy. Um, this is like the younger Netforce series and this is a double copy that I need to get rid of even though part of me feels like I don't want to. The same with Myth Inc. in Action. I'm actually going to double check on this one and make sure that this is a double copy because I love the series and I just have a mismatch of the series. So, but I think it is just another double copy. The same with Ice. This is by BC Andrews and it is shoot, part of the shooting stars it's the second one and i already have the first one somewhere over there i mean i'll double check but i'm 100 percent like 99 percent sure that this is a double copy really my sister is just interrupting me with noise so i told her feel me don't watch a video going through my room i don't want to get copyrighted you're not gonna get copyrighted yeah they do that now even for noise just in the background believe me i had a video and it was like, like very faint, but you could still hear it and they're just like trying to copyright. I'm just like, well, okay. And then I have this Prince book, I Would Die For You. I thought about reading it. I read the first and I was like kind of interested, but I'm thinking I'm, I don't, they really care about Prince all that much. Um, we have another Myth Inc. book. Um, hopefully um, it's another, I think it's another double copy or maybe I was just getting rid of it because of the cover, but I think I'm gonna keep it even if it just doesn't have a cover until I get one without a cover, if it's not, like, not a double. Look at me, getting rid of books, yet still keeping books that I'm supposed to be getting rid of. But then I got her, his Virgin Acquisition by Maisie Yates. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of romance novels like this that I am giving away. Most of them are, like, longer ones. This is just a random one, apparently. And then I have Lust, Envy, and Pride first three books in the seven deadly sin series and I bought the whole series on eBay like years back um, when I was looking for the other four books in the series because it was just cheaper it's like $20 for all seven books so these are just my original copies I'm giving that away some more dark is rising by Susan Cooper this is their this one is the Great King and this one is Oversee under stone I had two cop two more copies of the Great King I kind of like this but I just can't keep it on my shelf. Oh, there goes the other copy of Creek King. Um, and then we have this L. Ron Hubbard book. It's the third book, so it was just really random. I remembered when I bought that. I think it was around that Scientology. I was like, you wrote Scientology? What? Let me, let me see what his books are about. Got the third book or something, but I think it was like really cheap at a library sale, like five or ten cents or anyway. And then these are some books that I was like, I'm going to read these one day, but they just sit on my shelf. And they look seem so well, and I want to read them. But at the same time, I'm like, you're probably not going to get through that anytime soon because I don't read these books as much as I used to. And this one is The Will of Darkness by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. And then we got The Mission Song by John Lee Cara. And then we have Bloodthirst by Eric Von Lusterbeck. So those are the books I am 100% unhauling, apparently. I'm just going to see if anyone wants this, and if nobody does, I'll unhaul it. These two, I'm just going to double check to make sure these are doubles. And then, haha, haha, ha, 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 ha there's some other books that I have, wait, that I'm debating on, like, giving away or not. These are some more Rory novels. Nora Roberts novels. These one is Jewels of the Sun, Tears of the Moon, Heart of the Sea, and it's an Irish trilogy, so that's why I was probably going to end up keeping it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it forever and ever, but hey. And then um, I had Engaging the Enemy. This one sounds good, and I can't remember reading it. And then I have The Reader by Perhard Shook. I did not pronounce that right but I think this is a double copy so I'm not sure because I can't remember I know I had two copies and I think I gave one away but I can't can't remember for sure so when I'm packing up all my books I'm gonna keep this to the side and then if I don't see it then I'm gonna keep it but if I do see it then I'll just give this one out away at a later date whenever I go back to second and Charles and then I have these Kathy Ricks books um, devil the bone 
and Bones to the Ashes, and they're part of the Bone series that was turned into a TV show on Fox, I believe. And what I'm going to do is going to check the reads and see, number one, if this is the first and second book. If not, I'm also going to check my library and see if my library has them. If they have them on Overdrive, then I'll probably just read them from there. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I like them. I, I just found them at a library sale really, really cheap, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get back to that one day. And I still have it. And then... Um, so many books, so little time. We have uh, Carrie Author, Dangerous Games, which is like a little romance novel. I just want to make sure that like, this is the first book or something and it wasn't part of a longer series. And then I have Night Shield and Night Moves, which are part of the Night Tale series. And uh, Night Shift, which is also part of the Night Tale series by Nora Roberts. And I really like that, but I think I may have a bind up of like all of the books because I believe there were four of them together so if I do then these two are going to go away but if not they're going to stay with me and this one is the one that got away by Alicia Scott again it's another romance novel this one is about the Guinness game and if I have I might have bought another copy with like part because it's part of a series but if not then I'll just end up keeping this um, and then <laughs> I have the DU trilogy by F. N. Bisbee some like science fiction Kind of horror things like Tilt Tangle by R.M. McLeworth, which I really want to read, but it just has been like kind of languishing on my uh, <laughs> shelves. Um, so that's the only reason I was contemplating giving it away or not. And sometimes I feel like after I move with those, like with the books I'm discussing now, it might just depend on how much room I have, um, plus what my library has. So like The Pledge by Rob Keane is another book. Uh, the Fangs of Morning. And the Alchemist of Two Horror Stories in one, The Loop by Nicholas Evans. I can't even. I remember starting this book. I don't remember finishing it at all. So I just wanted to give it another chance. And then Message from Non by Dan E. L. Steele. I think this is the only real Dan Steele book that I can ever remember reading. And it was just really long and contemplative. But I just wanted to keep it for the news. Yeah, that's shameful. I know I'm not going to reread this book. <laughs> but every time I think about it. Uh, Daniel Seal, this is just a book that comes to mind. I just kind of like, oh, remember this long and contem, 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 what's that? Contem, uh, contemluted, contemluted. Wow, my brain is not working these days. And then, I don't know, there are just more, more Robert books that are based on movies like Blue Bayou and uh, Carnal Innocence that I know I'm just going to keep. And I love the movie. So this is a very long video, you guys. Let me know down below. Why do you guys give up books? And do you guys give up books? Or do you guys just keep everything at more? Do you guys have a bookstore that you can go to that will give you store credit? Because that's part of the reason I'm doing this. Because I get to, you get store credit or you can get cash from secondhand in Charles. So I'm just gonna hope they take as much as you can. And if not, I think they have a bin outside which are free books. So then anything they don't take, I think. I'll just put it in there, especially romance wise. If they if they don't take stuff like this, which I think they will, then I'll probably like back out the store really, really fastly. Don't judge me, at least I attempted to give them away. But uh um sometimes it's just really hard and I have to go, Keisha, gotta do it. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna try to vlog in the store, but I don't know if I'm even gonna bring my camera because I'm gonna be there for the weekend and I don't want to carry that much stuff but we'll see uh, I have a phone now so maybe I can film on that okay you guys I'll talk to you later bye